Today's Gospel, Thursday, January 7, is taken from St. Luke chapter 4, verses 14 to 22. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is by Sister Angela Marco of the family of God's servants and the hand of the sower singles. The gospel for today is a great reminder of our real mission as God's faithful servants. It was reiterated that, just like Jesus, we are called to serve, to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Serving the Lord is not just all about attending Mass, praying the Rosary, or even reading the daily scriptures. We are called today to go beyond ourselves. Our love and faith for God must be extended to our neighbors especially those who are in great suffering and need. This may seem like an overwhelming challenge for us to take, but God does not require us to do grand gestures. Now that we are globally experiencing a pandemic and nationally encountering numerous calamities such as typhoons, these are moments that we can serve and be of help to others. Supporting legitimate donation drives through sharing their social media posts or donating any amount are doable ways for us to fulfill God's mission for us. No genuine act of service is too small for God. Let us start now. Let us pray. Lord, may we become just like Jesus as we serve you and your people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.